Hey, my powerful brilliant Scorpio, welcome back to the channel. Dun, 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 mm, mm, mm. I don't know what family, but I am feeling absolutely positively great. See? See? Mm-hmm. I'm feeling good. It makes me feel like there is so much in store for us. I mean, like, so, 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 so much. Spirit has been saying, family, this is the time to prepare. Dun, 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 dun. Spirit wants you to really prepare because other things you want is coming in. I mean, it's about to come in so fast that it is going to shock you. Like, and it is going to, it's not, it's going to come in, happen, and poof. It's like, all the way to the moon. What you talking about, Mercy? What you talking about, Mercy? Let me just say, family, I feel like those of you who have been uh, patiently waiting for a beautiful connection, union, spirit says, it's coming. For those who have been waiting for an energy of peace, light, atmosphere, it's coming. And for those who just wanted to be in a place where they could just actually sit back and just create. You know, <clears throat> see, Sometimes when, when you got so much things going on, dealing with people, family, friends, situation, uh, your career, your work, it's like it can get so, so cluttered and it can get so overwhelming at times that you can't, that, that you can't and you're not able to just pull your energy back, sit back and smell the freaking roses. Have you ever walked and just literally smelled some roses like you walk and you see some beautiful flowers you're like hmm observe hmm hmm have you ever done have you ever hugged a tree i would tell you like this and you know from the outside looking in it may look look you know out of the norm but hugging a tree is such a uh a beautiful nurturing uh grounding experience and you know after you you know, get over the idea of I'm here hugging a damn tree and you just really enjoy the energy, understand the wisdom and the knowledge of that tree and connect with it. It's just, it's a beautiful thing. You, you'll be a, you're a tree hug, a hugger. <laughs> you know what I mean? It reminds me of coming to America. You heard it himself. He said he's a goat herder. <laughs> he said he's a goat herder. <laughs> ain't a goat ho ain't a goat herder. I'm a tree hugger. It's the difference. But anyway. All right, y'all. I hope y'all having a wonderful weekend or whenever you get this. If you not, let me give you some of this good energy. Energy. Victory, 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 victory. Joy, joy, joy. Happiness. Woo. Prosperity. Wake up. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I know I get a little crazy when I wake up with abundance on my mind. <laughs> All right, family, let's get into this. Let's get some messages from my angels because, um, like I say, I'm feeling hella good. I feel like the angels and my spirit guides, I'm, everybody want to give us a message on what is to come because if I'm feeling like this, it got to be a message in it. <laughs> messages of clarity and truth most high. Angels, what do we have for our beautiful powerful stuff here? Mmm. Look, what I was just saying, spirit say, take a step back. Okay, so right now this energy of taking a step back is like you've already created this momentum, this energy around you on on the type of individual that you want, the type of lifestyle that you want. You you started releasing things. You did all that you needed to do. And Spirit says at this particular point where you are exactly right now in your life, Spirit says this is the time for you to pull back pull back. And Spirit's not saying, uh, stop, uh, stop working, stop being, uh, persevering. This Spirit ain't saying that. Spirit ain't say, uh, it ain't time to go. It ain't saying pack up your shit and leave. Spirit says, just pull back and observe. See, we get trapped in this idea that we're always where we've been and we don't take the time to pull back and 
actually acknowledge what is going on, what has changed. Like I used to say, if you look to your left and you look to your right, look where everything is right now around you. No, take a moment. You. Yes, you. Don't be looking over your shoulder. Ain't nobody in the room with you. <laughs> no, but you, family. Spirit says, take the time and just look around. You're not going to be in the same place three months from now. You're not going to be in the same place six months from now. You can look from the, you can remember when you looked around from the past six months to a year ago. You, you're not in the same place, not in the same mentality, not dealing it with the same struggles. You feel me? You're not. Your conversation has changed. Experiences at this moment right now, collective, this is a time for you to take the time and step back. See how far you've grown. See the momentum in which you have. Not just that, but see the, the, the type of people that you have around you that now. That you and, and, and the type of people you had around you six months to a year ago. It shit to change, huh? Now Spirit says, mm, let me show you how to jump <laughs> into different uh, timelines. Spirit says, now imagine yourself three to six to months to a year from now. If so much has taken place within that last six months to a year, how much more do you think is going to take place moving forward? Now that you have decluttered your life, you have moved things to the side, you have started to see how to manifest and see your manifestations coming into fruition. Spirit said, and then now that you took the time to step back, because understand, you're not doing this by yourself. You're not in it by yourself. It may look like it because, you know, we, we, we have to distance ourselves. So, yeah, you know, we got a lot of uh, one deeper, uh, bigger, know how to uh, with me. But Spirit says, look, you got a whole spiritual team. You got a whole family tribe that's coming in that's going to fuck with you and for the long haul. They're going to love you a long time. And Spirit said, but you need to remove yourself from the equation and actually look at it from a higher perspective so you can see where it is, where you at. And Spirit says, because there's some things that are changing and, and some things while change is happening, all you need to do is observe. That is your key. Observe. Observation is the key. Spirit says, right now, you have the love of the universe. It, there is so much love that's coming in for you, Scorpios, right now at this very particular moment. The work that you went in, everything that you've done has not went in vain. The tears that you cried over situations, circumstances, people, and places. Spirit says, I want you to know all that, all that love you gave it, it is my living in vain. It's my praying in vain. I don't know the rest of the word. No, of course not. It's not all in vain. Spirit says, baby, everything you've done is not in vain. And that love, all that energy that you have given out to the universe for people in situations that probably didn't appreciate you. Spirit says, even though they didn't appreciate it, the earth, the universe appreciated. And if you just sit back and, 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 and watch, it's about to come back to you in full circle. Poof. It's about to blow your mind. The universe say, I'm about to blow your mind, blow your mind, blow your mind. Yeah. Just wait, just wait. And you say opportunity and change. What did, speak it, speak it, speak it. Spirit says there are so many opportunities coming in. Your life is about to change like never before. And this is the reason why Spirit wants you really to observe where you are right now. Observe where you were last year so you can really acknowledge and appreciate where you are going. Spirit says you're going to have a lot of decisions to make before you real soon. There's going to be a huge truth, uh, some type of clarity that's coming in. There's going to be a huge opportunity coming in. The Spirit says you're going to have to trust it and go. I do believe this has a lot to do with union, with love coming together, leaving behind the uh, the trials and the tribulations of the past, understanding that that was a whole nother life ago. You are in a whole nother dimension. A whole nother earth is being created that you are a part of. And Spirit says, we are about to allow something that is so beautiful and so that's going to be so nurturing and, and healing to you that's coming in. But you're going to have to receive it. 
you're gonna have to be in this energy of receiving it, family. And let me just say this, may not be talking to everybody, but if this for you, this for you, but I can only speak for myself and hope that it resonates with you through my own experience, family. For a lot of you, you've been missing out on the type of love that you've been able to produce. And it gets kind of, you, you, you have this on guard energy when it's dealing with you actually expressing yourself or giving love like you want to be loved. And not just that, but like you genuinely love to love. Some of us, like myself, was put here on this earth to really show and have others experience the energy of true, genuine, pure love. Just like it seems as if it's hard at times for us to express it because of our past and for people not being able to appreciate it. Spirit says, understand, there are people that are out there that have never experienced that genuine energy. You're not just here for you to have an experience. You're here to accomplish something here on this earth. And you are going to be somebody's biggest and greatest accomplishment, appreciation. Family, when I'm telling you, Spirit says somebody is about to come into your life and they are going to let you understand why nothing ever worked out in your favor when it was dealing with people, situations, and love. This is Spirit saying, we set you up for the biggest come up that the world has ever seen. See, every situation that you see, every Romeo and Juliet without ending in tragedy, but every Cinderella fairy tale, every uh, Fiona and Shrek <laughs> relationship, Spirit says they ain't got nothing on what's about to come to you, family. Scorpios, you got somebody right now that is of high stature. Somebody that is highly valued. Somebody that is, and I see somebody that is very much in the uh, in the public's eye is watching you. They are they are looking at the love uh, ooze from you, from your spirit. They know you real. Why? Because they done been around a lot of fake ass people. And the things that you're going through right now, you have to release those things. Certain people in situations, you have to learn from them situations so that it could prepare you. For this beautiful union, Scorpios, I know, and and for, and I'm not gonna even lie, you gonna feel some type of way. It, it's like you are going to go through a new experience in life that you haven't went through before, because of the because of the strength, because of the things that you have overcome and still kept that beautiful dope ass personality. And let me just stop and say, family, y'all are so fucking dope, like. You don't even understand how beautifully, individually made you are. I mean, shit, y'all watching me, so y'all gotta be, y'all gotta be dope as fuck. Cause I ain't gonna lie, you know, I ain't trying to toot my own horn, but toot toot, I'm a pretty cool cat myself. You feel me? If I was anybody in the world, I would want to know me. That's that's the fact. Cause, Cause I love me. You feel me? But I have to extend that to you because it's something about me that I feel that's in you and something about you that's in me, the reason why we resonate. And I want you to know right now, if ain't nobody ever told you you was the shit, baby, you the senseless shit. You the shit that don't stink. You the ones they see from a mile away. Hey, as Vera says, understand that that beauty can never go unseen. And spirit is about to align you with a particular union, the particular people, the community that is going to cherish and adore you because you deserve it, you're worthy of it. And now that you know you're worthy of it, you are gonna receive it in such a great amount, a huge portion. Somebody is about to knock the socks right off of your beautiful feet. And for those who feel ain't beautiful, they gonna make sure you 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 keeping it up. You feel me? For the man, they gonna be doing it. Don't worry about it, baby. I got it. They gonna be down there scrubbing them dead skins up. They gonna say your feet gonna look good tonight. You hear me? You gonna have somebody that is patient with you, patient, kind. You are gonna have somebody that's going to want to take the time to get to know you. And let me just say this, Scorpio, like you do with everybody, you about to blow somebody's mind, family. And spirit wants you to get ready. 
Spirit says, baby, you don't have to do all that work. All I want you to do is continue to feed your body the very things that you need to continue to get these beautiful messages to, to operate in this beautiful power that you are divinely within. And just watch things come together. You've already manifested it. You are it. Spirit says, start expecting who you are. What do you mean, Bercy? Just what I said. Well, let me just do an example for myself. You feel me? Because I can only speak for myself at this point. I expect somebody that's going to be loyal, consistent. Someone that's going to be patient, kind, loving, understanding. Someone that's going to be outgoing, goofy as fuck. <laughs> Not giving no fucks about people. That's really about building kingdom building none of that small stuff because we a higher vibrational being yeah i'm expecting a uh, 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 an alien <laughs> a, a earth angel i'm expecting something but it's big why because in my mind and who i am i'm a big fucking deal as spirit says you need to step back and understand that you a big fucking deal too and Big deals come with big rewards. The Spirit says, you're about to be rewarded, family. So, I just wanted to get on here and let you know that Spirit says something big is about to happen in your life very soon. Some of you guys, you already started receiving it. Oof, oof. It's coming. It's coming. And Spirit says, open up your heart. Get ready to receive this beautiful energy. Because I feel like right now, Something is about to blow not only your mind, but everybody's mind around you. All the spectators, all the haters, all the people that you gave your energy to, all the people that want to come back just so they could use you because they could feel this abundance around you. Spirit says, I am aligning you with the right people, the ones that's going to truly value your heart and they're not going to misuse it. They're going to know they found something very rare, very rare that they will never find again. Why? Because they have already been through the garbage and shit. They done already had the bottom of the fucking barrel. I think after a while, you gonna know to test that diamond to make sure. <laughs> Pineapples. But yeah. So, this message is just from your family, me to you. Family, get prepared. Because the beautiful energy in which you are which you possess, which you create every day you wake your beautiful ass up is coming back to you. And it is about to blow your mind. I love you, family. Can't nobody tell Jay love you today. You know I love you. I love you so much. I pray for you every night. I love you so much. I have to come and make sure y'all good. You feel me? Because the truth is, I feel the love that you give me. And I ain't, I ain't never felt love like this before. Just on everything. So just know, great things are coming. Bye, family.